Hi, I am Sachin, Salesforce and Python expert at Cloud and Login. Today, I am going to demo you a small integration that we have developed between Django Forms and Salesforce. So on front end, we have used Django Forms. On back end, we have used Salesforce. So what is happening is all the records that has been created and updated are directly going into the Salesforce from the Django Forms. So we have integrated that. I am going to demo you the same. So the application that we have developed is employee project. As you can see on my screen, this is a login page where I am going to log in or employee can log in directly and mark their attendance, apply for leave, uh, apply for reimbursements and view the company holidays. So this is a small application that we have developed as of now, but we can leverage this application. So, I'm on the home page where I can uh, punch in and punch out. So punch in and punch out is uh, like we can mark attendance from here. Uh, as soon as employee reaches office, they can log into a browser portal and they can punch in directly. And they can punch out as well. So there is an additional feature like this application will only run on the local. So so that uh, as as you can see. Um, because employee portals are only for the local uh, usage only, but we can uh, we can run on um, servers as well. So as if now we have we are running this application on local. So what is going to happen is as soon as I click on punch in, uh, you will see two things. First, the enable and disable of, of buttons got reversed. Like previously, only the punch in button was enabled and the punch out was disabled now they got reversed and the record of employee uh, in the salesforce uh, as you can see on my screen i'm now in the salesforce i reloaded the employee detail page and uh, the record of salesforce has been created of attendance object under the same employee so as you can see this record ca0009 uh, for date 10th of october in time as 3 p.m. so that got created so directly with the help of Django forms now as soon as I punch out it will punch out successfully it will show me again it will disable the uh, reversal function all although it should disable both of them but for now uh, I will show you the validation we have added in the punch in so let us go and first check that the record so the same record got updated as you can see on my screen it punch out to 3 pm and if employee tries to punch in again so it will show them an error like this the attendance has already been taken you cannot multiple time punch in or punch out for the same day okay so this is how uh, we are controlling all the objects directly from Python Django forms into the Salesforce, we have uh, apply for leave section where employee can apply and also view their leaves. Similarly, for attendance, they can view the all the attendance record as well. They can apply for leave. They can view the leave details, apply for reimbursement, view reimbursement details, view holiday details. So similarly all the objects uh, like records from the Django forms will directly be created updated in the Salesforce itself okay so this is what we have developed and uh, uh, we can leverage this application uh, we can enhance this application depending upon more requirements uh, uh, by like ticketing system we can add like any issues the employee is facing want to raise a ticket they can raise a ticket we can add more features as per the requirement so this is what we have developed do let me know if you have any queries you can contact us at through a cloud and log website thank you